Here's how to do face or body tracking in CapCut. Now, if you have a video and you want to track somebody's face as they go through or their body or anything else, I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's open up the CapCut app here and let me just get out of here. And I'm gonna hit new project and just bring in this video. Now on this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps where I'm tracking my face as I move to the left and right of the screen. You can also do this for a body or a hand or an object like a basketball or anything like that. Now what you're gonna do is first tap on the video so that it is selected. And then at the very bottom, we're just gonna swipe all the way over Keep swiping until you get to camera tracking and tap on that. Now, the nice thing is you can do camera tracking and there is an automated basically way that you can track a face, body, hands, or custom if it's something else like a basketball or you know any other object that is moving around a car or something like that. Let's tap on face here and hit track and it will add all those keyframes and do everything to track your face. So I can swipe through here and you can see it tracks my face to be in the very center of the screen. However, at certain points, it does add a blur because there's essentially not enough room to keep my face in the center of the frame with some video around it. So I have other options. I can choose fit canvas. And now this will essentially zoom in so that I'm always in the center here. I can also keep the face the same size, and then I can adjust the blur, etc. I can hit the check mark here and go through this process. Keep in mind all of these different keyframes. I can choose to edit any of these, or I can always hit the adjust button, or I can hit retrack and retrack if I wanted to redo it and manually adjust this. Maybe you wanna tap on custom to customize this if you want to, and you're good to go.